Hi there, welcome back to the Dr. Sheik channel and today I'm gonna go into some technical chit chat about uh, planes uh, one thing in uh, uh, specifically uh, differential ailerons um, okay I, uh, <laughs> I know I have already lost quite a lot of viewers uh, <laughs> with, with that but well bear with me maybe it's uh, interesting to you uh, maybe it's not but uh, first uh, firstly um, you might have seen my uh, first uh, test flight with my Speedwing which resulted in a very nice crash <laughs> a high-speed crash straight into the ground and um, it, it wasn't all that damaged really but I wanted to change a few things so I built it up uh, completely new and this is the result. This is a version 2, two of my speed wing. And um, to tell you what I've changed, um, I didn't have enough pitch um, elevator control on uh, the version 1. So I have uh, widened the elevators, elevons, whichever you want. Uh, they are one centimeter wider on the inside, not on the outside, because I had enough um, control on the roll radius. So it's on the inside I've widened it and it's a little longer. The tip protrudes a little more for uh, backwards. And uh, well, as you can see they're uh, all set up already. Everything is connected, it's all ready for the next crash. Uh, um, yeah, okay, and um, okay, the, the, the rest of my video I'd like to go into uh, differential ailerons, and in very short, that means that the upstroke of my uh, ailerons elevators is different from the downstroke. I'll zoom into uh, one of the uh, elevons later on, but uh, this is full up, and that results in about an angle of 40 uh, degrees, I would guess, and downwards. I'm not sure if you can see that in this part of the video, like I said, I'll zoom in uh, for that later. But downwards it's about 20 to 25 degrees. So much, much the, the down travel of my ailerons is much shallower than the up travel. And uh, why is that? Well, that's uh, twofold really. Uh, the, the, the most important thing about a plane is to be able to pitch it up, to, uh, to go up in the sky. Downwards, this, yeah, um, it'll go down eventually anyway, which, whatever I do. But uh, upwards, I like to uh, have a lot of control. Downwards, uh, yeah, gravity will take care of that for me. So, um, okay, next thing I'll um, zoom in to one of the ailerons and then I'll show you what I've done and how and why <coughs> to have differential ailerons. Don't go anywhere. Okay and we're back. Now um, I hope this is uh, good enough for you to see this. Uh, what you're looking at here is a servo over here with a control arm. It's wide so I hope it's in view well enough and this black thing is the control horn that's screwed into the aileron elevator. Now this control arm which is on the servo of course is not angled up straight up it's not at 90 degrees uh, to the to the wing and this is how I have set up my uh, differential uh, it's uh, done me mechanically as you can see um, yes you can also dial in differential aileron ailerons or elevators in your radio 
but uh, that will also have you lose um, resolution on your throw. So that's why I didn't do it that way. Um, okay, now if I give full up on this uh, elevator, you can see that this mechanically works out very well. Right? The, 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 the control surface deflects up very nicely, but if I push it down, especially on the last part of the throw here, there's hardly anything happening to the control horn. There is something happening, but the deflection is far less this way. And, um, well, that's really an easy way to uh, uh, have differential on your ailerons, or in this case, ele uh, elevators. Now, there are really, uh, like I said, there are two reasons to have uh, differential on your ailerons and or elevator. Uh, one is because, uh, in, in this case, I want a lot of up elevator and uh, I'm not that concerned with uh, down elevator, but on a flying wing like this, these elevators also are your aileron, ailerons. Uh, so it will also affect, of course, uh, the deflection of the ailerons. And um, maybe you've seen it in uh, planes, maybe you haven't, but I think you can imagine that if you do a barrel roll, a uh, continuous roll, um, you have uh, the, the plane uh, goes into a uh, corkscrew maneuver. It's not uh, revolving over one axis, over the center axis of your plane, but it's uh, well, uh, it's it's making a corkscrew, and that uh, is not uh, a, a bad thing. But uh, if it's not what you want, then you can dial that out with differential on your ailerons. And uh, like I said, you can do that in your radio if you have a computer radio. Uh, but if you do not, or if you uh, want it to resolve that mechanically, like I did, then you can angle those uh, control arms on your servos a little uh, to the back. And um, well, you, you'll uh, see that your roll looks quite different that way. Um, well, that's it really. Uh, of course, uh, in the coming video I'll be testing this Speedwing version 2 as well, of course. And I hope uh, <laughs> that'll uh, uh, well, go better than my first, first test. See you back in another video. Bye bye.